subscribe. We have a ball hitting a runner, and the Royals are saying, he's out. We got a cheap out. But not so fast, unless you're Greg Gibson and you say, ah, oh, shoot, I stepped into it. Why? Behind me, my ball. Yeah, Greg called time. So Rule 509B7 says that a runner's out when he's touched by a fair ball in fair territory before the ball has gone through or by an infielder and no other infielder has a chance to make a play on the ball. Here's the diagram. In a normal situation, relaxed, a runner gets hit by the ball in front of the infielder, the runner's out, it's a dead ball. But if we move the infielder in front of the runner, infield-in situation like we had here, and the infielder misses the play and the ball then hits the runner... The runner's safe. No other infielder had a chance to make a play on the ball. The runner is not out, and we keep that play alive. So Greg called time here because he just saw the ball hitting the runner. But there's a little nuance to the rule where, as we can see here, there's the ball, there's the infield playing in. It's going to hit the runner who's on the outfield side of everyone, so no infielder had a chance to make a play on the ball. So therefore, that runner is not out. Rule 802C lets the umpires correct this by loading the bases in this situation, takes steps to make sure that the call is right. And Greg has to explain it to Ned Yost. Bear of bad news, Ned's not happy. But it's a great explanation from Greg, so Ned at the end of it says, okay.